you know, just pan to this just to show somebody like production <laughs> what we're doing. So that should be good. Yeah. Least be real. Okay. So we're gonna talk about this tarmac, right? Talking about the tarmac SL7 and tarmac SLA, and this is kind of like a segue from the last conversation we had talking about the LA Sprint. If you haven't seen that video, go back and check it out. But now that you have an LA Sprint, do you still want a tarmac? No, I'm good now. I mean, you know, we we kind of talked about um, trying the bikes out. Mm -hmm. So went to test ride the SL7. Okay. Test drove the S Works Eight. Okay. And noticeable difference. Noticeable difference in in, in the X Work X Work and the Seven. But then I went and test drove the Dogma, the F12, and the Eight didn't wow me. But the dog did. Wow. We're going we're to save that segue okay. going into that. Right. Um, but going back to the SO7, when you rode the SO7, what was the configuration? Was it the S-Works? Did it have robo wheels? Do you know? Like, how was it set up? Did it have electronic shifting? It had electronic shifting. I believe it had the it had the SRAM, had ETAP. Uh, it had the uh, uh, repeat uh, twos, I think it was. Okay. And CLX twos. CLX twos. And it was a 54. And it was uh, uh, just a seven, the the top seven, not the S works. Okay, it was probably like a pro pro or something like that. Um, so when you rode the Tarmac SO seven, you didn't have the LA yet. Did not. So after you had rode the Tarmac SO seven, and then I come tell you like, hey, you need to get an LA. What did you what did you think about that? Were you thinking like, man, he, I don't know about this one. He might set me up on this one. Well, you know, that was that was the big reason for riding those two. Kind of sorted, right? Okay. So I wanted to see what the SL7 felt like and what the 8 felt like. All right. And then when I got the uh, layout, you know, I definitely know what I've already rode. Now I can compare to what I have. Mm -hmm. And riding the LA, you don't even feel like it's an aluminum frame. Yeah, you don't. You know, if someone doesn't if someone gets you the blind the blind test and say, "Hey, just get on the bike," you tell me what you think. It, I think I bet eight out of ten people are not going to say that's that's an aluminum bike. That's one of the things I specifically said in in one of my lay videos. When I'm if I pulled up and someone said, "Hey, hey, Rob, I got this new bike, you know, ride it," and I get on it and start riding it, and I got off, he was like, "What you think about that aluminum bike?" I've been like, "What aluminum bike?" Because it it doesn't feel respond. Act the character, it does not feel like an aluminum bike. It, it, I keep talking about this bike so much, it's crazy how that bike feels. And the thing about it is the price point, all the value that you're getting. I can't even just say value because I just think it's generally a good bike. I don't feel like you're losing anything with that bike. I don't think you're losing anything. You're saving money, you're getting the same, you're getting as good a performance as you're going to get out of the seven. I mean, I just don't see it. And we group ride and we've. I've rode and we've rode with, you know, people who ride set and the good riders. I'm not saying I'm an expert rider, but, mm -hmm. you know, I can put out a little bit of power. Yeah. And um, right there, right there, you know, in all facets, you know, uh, 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 responsive. Uh, and when you put the power down in that frame, it's responsive. Yeah. The power yeah. transfer in the lay is very, very good. Real Real smooth, it's not delayed, it's 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 crispy, it's snappy. I like the way it feels. Now talking about the seven kind of versus the the Tarmac SL8. So I just rode an SL8 this week. And I rode um SL8, it had the new SRAM red on it, CLX wheels, power meter, everything. And when I rolled the bike, I, I'm not gonna say it's not a good bike. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say it's not a good bike. I just wasn't wowed by it. And it wasn't that the SL8 is not a, a wow bike. Um I, I currently ride a Factor Austro Vam. So coming off my Vam and then jumping on the S Works, I, it wasn't enough to make me say I want to go buy this bike. And then thinking about how good the LA feels, it, it I kind of scratched my my tarmac itch, you know? So riding the SLA, because you rode the S Works SL8 as well. Did that make you want to go buy it? Didn't. Did not. I mean, you know, it's light. You know, it's got the reputation. 
<laughs> but other than that, I mean, I, I wasn't wild. I was not wild by it. And that's because now, are you saying you're not wild? Like you just, hmm, I'm, I'm unimpressed. I'm not. I, I wouldn't recommend it. Or it's just because you're comparing it to some other things you already have. The latter, you know, comparing it to what I already have. You know, like I said, you know, that, that, that one test ride when I, I rode all three of them. Back to back. So back to back. See. And the dog just, it just wowed me. It was just so responsive. It was like, why do I need to ask first? Wow. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, because like I said, at, at this point right now, having the LA and having the VAM, just don't, talking about those two bikes specifically, because like I said, the the LA, SL7, SLA, all very similar geometry. Having something with that similar geometry, and, and if you know the LA, the fork of the LA is the SL7. The C post is the SL7. It's kind of like, kind of scratches my itch. It's just how would I feel on this bike? And then having a, I guess you can call it a premium bike, the Factor Austro VAM, I really don't feel like I'm missing something, um, you know, not having an SLA. Or let's say it came down to a ride and I'd say, okay, which one would you rather have? Would you rather have the SLA? Or the factor. If I rolled both back to back, they was the same price. I don't think you can go wrong with, with either one. I'm not saying that the, the factor Austro Vam is that much better. I'm just saying I chose the Vam because of my own preferences, but I don't feel like I'm missing anything not having the SLA. And I think they're so. I didn't have enough of a, a wow factor or, or feeling to make me want to go have both of those bikes. They'll lay well more. Well enough scratches my itch with that. Yeah, I feel the same way. I didn't feel, feel a need to to have an uh, um, an S works or or eight, you know, especially after having the LA. You know, it, like I said, it, it met it met that threshold. You know, I was good. Um, I didn't need another bike like that. Okay, interesting. So yeah, just another check for <laughs> for the LA. We keep talking about that dang old bike. Hey, if you're liking the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. We're about like 3,000 something subscribers. I'm trying to get to 5,000. That's just like the next milestone. So if you're liking the content, subscribe to the channel, like, vibe, subscribe, everything. And we'll catch you on the next one. 5,000. Almost there. Like you said, if you like it, go ahead. Right there somewhere. <laughs>